Hi, good evening. Uh, this is your friend Han here, and uh, it is great to see you here tonight. And tonight, I have something uh, very, very special to share with you. Uh, first of all, for the very first time, I get a guy named Jay, who is a product creator programmer uh, of many, many products you might already own. Uh, to get on the first time, get on the interview to talk about conversions. Okay, so in internet marketing, we know that we need the traffic, and we need the second thing we need to master uh, is conversion. I know I say this over and over again because it's that important. You got to have a sync it in. And the people ask me how do you make money on the internet? Well, if you match the traffic with a with a great product, you're gonna have a high conversion. Then hey. You're in business, right? So you're gonna get that money that you always uh, dream about or want to have. Um, so today uh, we, we're gonna learn from Jay how he uh, uses what technique he uses to boost up conversions with his own blog. So you two can uh, kind of you know kind of copy from him and use it as well. And uh, at the end of the interview, he's gonna introduce a brand new product. And uh, please allow me to introduce uh, right now. And the name of the product is uh, WP at stopper as you can see right here that's the e-cover so unlike any other pop-up or, or, or sliders and um, he actually acts as a splash page which um, you're gonna you see already in in authority sites when you go to those of fortune.com when you go to uh, uh, pcworld.com um, you know you, you, you click on the article and uh, a, a, a entire page of ads just kind of show up then you get an option to say skip this ad, and then you actually come to the page you want to you want to look at, right? So now you can do the same. So an advantage of this is you get the full attention. You don't have that ad blindness, you know. Uh, where, where sometimes uh, when people see a, a pop up, especially it's public, you know, you're numb to it, and you see so many pop up all the time at every single website you go into, right? So, but with this technique, uh, he's getting a, a Jay is getting a great result. I just want to kind of share with you in this interview. So now you can grab this at a very, very affordable price too tomorrow, actually. Uh, so uh, go check it out. So for now, uh, go check out the interview and learn a lot from Jay. And uh, tomorrow, look out for my emails so you can get the early, early bird price, and uh, so that. Uh, uh, you can instantly um, use this on your blog, start increasing your conversions, start getting more clicks, and uh, you know, to, to either your offer, you're trying to build a list, you're trying to get more attention to the product you created, uh, this is an excellent, excellent uh, uh, splash page. Basically, think about this is a full screen ad. Do you think people are gonna uh, pay more attention to the full screen ads or just a little tiny box kind of popping up uh, on the screen of amount of other contents behind it? I think when you kind of like totally isolate them uh, into one page, they're more likely to take a look at it. And if it's something they're interested, they're more likely to click on it. And if they don't, they just click skip this ad, they're still gonna get the content, all that stuff. So hey, authority sites are using it, Fortune 500 companies are using it. So why not Why not use this uh, at least to test it out, <laughs> all right? So this is your friend Han, please enjoy this interview and uh, I'll be talking to you. Uh, yeah, keep smiling and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Cheers. Hi, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is great to see you here. Uh, this is your friend, friend Han again. And uh, today we're very excited to have uh, Jay uh, come on board with us. And for the very, very first time, very, very excited. And he's going to be here to share some awesome, awesome conversion tips. So if you have a, a WordPress affiliate site or WordPress blog, that's not converting. Uh, you want to pay attention to Jay because he's going to share some awesome, awesome tips with you. Um, also, at the end of this interview, he's going to share a brand new plugin. He's going to coming out, and that's going to um, actually cure the ad blindness. It actually, a lot of authority side, uh, like a new site like CNN or the PC World side, you've seen them doing it. Um, so he uh, went out and did a uh, own version of his, and he's now ready to share with the world, share with you. So pay attention to that. He's getting more detail about that. Uh, in this interview as well. Um, before we get into all this uh, excitement here, let's kind of learn how Jay 
I got started with the internet marketing and most importantly what did he exactly do uh, to achieve the level of success he has today so uh, Jay would you kind of uh, take over the mic share your unique internet marketing story with us today sure uh, hi Han uh, it's nice to uh, connect with you it's, uh, I think we are having the call for the first time huh. and also share my story with uh, you and your audience okay uh, thanks for your time and uh, thanks for this interview before we get started okay yeah I would like to uh, start my story about how I get uh, started with the internet marketing and product creation world um, yeah I've been following all this uh, warrior forum and the uh, digital forums and all the forum worlds from maybe around uh, 2009 beginning of 2009 and I used to uh, yeah spend most of my time uh, after my day job as an uh, IT analyst in the warrior forum at the time it used to be a free forum right so there is no registration fee or anything yeah I got a lot of uh, a good marketers connection uh, in the forum and I used to buy uh, info products at the time uh, like uh, the top guys mm -hmm. and started blogging from there and uh, initially I used to be uh, what a uh, full uh, a blogger who used to spend most of the time with content creation for WordPress blog right uh, without even um, uh, knowing like uh, the methods to uh, efficiently market your blog I started creating content so I thought uh, creating more content uh, will solve all the problems and I thought uh, if I create good content the visitors will come and uh, I used to make more money but uh, it was not exactly the way uh, what I thought so I created some of uh, what uh, powerful I was able to find out some of good uh, golden nuggets or very good keywords and I turned them into blogs but the way I created the blogs or the way I put uh, the content like offering all the content for free and not really having a product or not really having a plan like how to optimize the visitors and and targeting the keywords like what angle I'm targeting I'm just uh, got to know that I was spending all the times with visitors those are like free seekers those will never take actions those will just watch your videos and leave the size and it's fun and entertainment for them and uh, just another website for them but for me it's like uh, the first website I spend all the time there and it was a bit of learning there then I incorporated the learning in uh, my next subsequent website so I built some deals and coupons website so I thought it is like in uh, the money making uh, couponing niche so uh, that is some sort of buying there so I could make some money so I entered into deals coupons and other stuff so it was kind of better than my first blog so I started to uh, make some money in uh, the CPA offers AdSense and all those stuff and then one fine day I got this dreadful AdSense ban oh. <laughs> yeah immediately I think on a Friday morning I was staying in a hotel here in Long Beach I um, was checking my stats and then I come to know I got that very uh, scareful AdSense ban message and I was making a, a bit uh, say more than 10 to 15 dollars per day it's not a great money but for a blogger uh, looking for just part-time income right uh, so it's it's great and uh, yeah as usual Google never responds to any user what is the reason or uh, any explanation it's just a template message right yeah yeah so, just like default like uh, I got those too and so uh, <laughs> you're validating the servers or something and uh, it doesn't explain which term servers it's just a general message yeah I was just hitting my head like what did I do in the last one week or one month like that has cost me actions ban I revisited all the sites I have all me like four or five sites and then I also re revisited all the guidelines to make sure I followed them religiously but it doesn't help them I even asked them to uh, what a re reinstate or request to revalidate and those stuff uh, I don't think but it never helped <laughs> no, no they don't they don't yeah I got to know that a hard way and I once you ban you ban I mean that sounds gone yeah so I mean so that is one other uh, roadblock for me but it's a hard way to learn 
and come up with uh, once i got hit that i have uh, uh, forced to think about some creative ways to uh, convert or use the web traffic so yeah i i came to know that that's uh, that's opening up new opportunities right so yeah then um, the traffic anyways is not getting loosed so i uh, while working with adsense like i used to uh, focus on all the google uh, terms and conditions the way they want the content it's like religious we are working for google right we are putting content and then the way google want and then selling the traffic to google so once i got banned from adsense like i creatively thought of multiple monetization methods like uh, cpa offers and then selling on uh, affiliate selling info products not own prices info products and affiliate products so that way i could uh, make uh, recover my uh, adsense income with uh, pfi cpa offers and uh, a couple of amazon offers because uh, the shopping niche is good in uh, amazon and uh, cpa so that's how i recovered uh, from that dreadful google ban so um and, let me ask you one question um it is you know most of the people if they got a account ban if their blog wasn't working they were probably just saying make the uh, assumption that internet marketing does not work and screw this i'm go back to my old job uh and, you know i'm 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 doing something else out of the internet marketing well, what was that one thing that you know even after group you know you know that the google adsense ban well what made you kept going and create that creative juice uh, going and eventually uh have the success you have today what was that what was that mindset? Correct. What was that drive? Or what, what did you have in you? Correct. Uh, I what I think was initially to start with, I was in assumption like Google's AdSense is a safe bet. Yeah, it was a safe bet. Like you know, you don't have to take risk and then proceed with whatever you uh, get from Google AdSense. The sense click that you get from Google, it's safe bet. But it's very very. It's like another day job. Like you work in the day job, get a monthly pay. So it's like you work three four hours putting your content, and then you'll get some average ten fifteen dollars pay. It's like a hourly job. Convert that to two dollars three dollars per hour. So that is not the good way. So it is better I work in my office job itself. Maybe uh, in a better paying job I move on to the next job. There is no point in uh, coming into internet marketing. So I say that the first thing anyone can do is get rid of Google AdSense first. <laughs> in that way any google tools uh -huh. so after coming out of google ads i literally stopped using uh, analytics tool itself google tool so i wanted to get rid of all the free google tools or google offers totally because i don't want to uh, one fine day and screw up my blogs again for the another reason right for yeah, google yeah. analytics for another it, reason. i mean they give you the free tools for their own benefit they, they know Correct. every little status that you do on your site and uh, uh how, you know it, it just you give it too much data but they're gonna yeah, find yeah. out either way though it just make the, the maybe take a longer to find it out <laughs> yeah let them find out uh somewhere but we we are not here to give away oh, our dear, right? free, yeah. and then religiously work for them right so it's like all the bloggers who just want to make adsense money put in five to six hours per day is like working for google they are uh, what uh contractor workers i should say mm -hmm. so that's why yeah uh, f um, after getting that adsense ban i learned stuff in the hard way and then like yeah i learned in the variant forum with uh the uh, wso office from top marketers that and the next level, the best approach to uh, move away is affiliate marketing, uh, promoting uh, other people's products from blogs. And then, then I thought like, why don't we, why move to the next step instantly, uh, instead of moving out to the best step. So the best step or best approach is creating one's pro uh, own product, right? So I should say AdSense is say third level, right? Mm -hmm. And from that, the next best approach is affiliate marketing, which is second level. Mm -hmm. And the best approach, or uh, the the first level, I should say, is creating your own product. So whatever product it is, info product or uh, software product, plugins, anything, create your own product. So that's the first uh, best approach to uh, internet marketing. You have control of your time, you have control of your money, list, and everything. So after moving out of AdSense, getting AdSense banned, the next thing I 
I don't want to play more with uh, affiliate marketing or just uh, what planning to promote other people's content itself. So I, I straight away I want to, I have the knowledge, I have the tools in the wire forum and I can uh, spend my effort in learning. So I moved away directly in product creation and uh, with all the months I spent on blogging and content creation, I effectively know what uh, WordPress bloggers want and uh, what are their pain points and uh, coming out with solution and technical products so that's how i came with uh, product creation and uh, blogging uh, i've been out of blogging the wordpress plugin creation so you know um my first product uh, is a wordpress plugin i created last year july 2012 it's called the uh, utter tube pro it's a wordpress plugin uh, to uh, automate uh, YouTube videos uh, adding to adding videos to your, your WordPress blog and uh, building your authority and stuff like that it's all like a result of my uh, years or months of blogging so uh, I guess to sum it up that uh, um, um, you just gotta keep trying new things until it's working and uh, you found that the product creation is probably and the field the best one the best one to do um, so let's talk about, we're kind of short on time here, so let's talk about conversion here uh, a little bit. Let's talk about um, while you were building your own blog or why you, you know, study building blogs or whatever it is. Um, what are the conversion mistakes you see people made or you yourself made? Correct. Uh, while I'm building content for my coupon blogs, say for example, I used to have uh, two successful uh, download coupons uh, blocks okay so the big lesson for that is like uh, forcing visitors to take action since uh, it's a, a content based blog or uh, it's a free blog right uh, the, the content you see in Google is uh, almost free people come to your blog and then they take the content and then leave back free without taking action so engaging them to take action or getting some sort of uh, uh, maybe an opt-in email address or a CPA form submit is like very difficult at that time so the biggest thing is like uh, converting the visitors from social media sites Facebook fan page and uh, Google uh, search engine to take action some of the techniques I used to follow at that time is like relevancy so I would say the first one is be relevant to your uh, content okay so if you are ranking for a keyword that says uh, say for example uh, uh, download uh, paper towel coupons for example so it's one of the uh, uh, well searched keyword so I used to rank for that keyword so being so relevant to your uh, keyword not only you engage your visitors more but you also prove that you your page is relevant to the keyword and you end up doing good SEO for your site okay so being relevant uh, forces visitors to engage your blog and take action and come back with your page again and then get your SEO ranking up so in this example what I did was uh, for that download paper towel coupons so I used to put uh, downloadable coupons in my content blog right uh, for that keyword so I used to immediately have that uh, keyword in the first portion of my title and then I used to uh, take it from there instead of putting fill the first paragraph in the WordPress blog post is very essential okay so you don't want to give any introduction or any salesy type content or unrealistic stuff in the first paragraph because title and first paragraph obviously is what uh, is going to decide whether they are going to stay in your page and then read further are they going to just click and then bounce off the bounce the bounce rate is one another deadly uh, data that gives Google and other sites uh, that your content is no longer worth it so I immediately I used to have very little two three lines of uh, content or no content in the site at all I used to put the coupons in the first paragraph so what I did was giving the content as early as possible to your visitors instead of uh, asking them to click here and then click there and then uh, making them jiggle uh, across multiple pages or scroll down do some uh, XYZ stuff okay so be relevant to your content give the content 
as soon as possible to the visitor early immediately they land on your page on the first half so that they take more action and minimize all the distractions in the first half of the blog so on the sidebars but do not uh, have much of your promotion in the first half right so sound like you are really helping them and then in the second half you can uh, optimize your content and uh, yeah you know your seo pages and you know your money pages right always promote your products or offers in your money pages and there are some you have to allocate some pages for content like that is used to get visitors using seo and you have to allocate some pages for users to take action like splash page or a squeeze page so so they will take action in the squeeze page or sales page and they will uh, get the content in your uh, content page so that's how i used to uh, dissect and uh, i used to uh, get some good results on that okay so um and the the things among them jumping there like if you uh, the mistake that seeing people make is they they like they tend to uh, overdo themselves they put multiple banners um trying to promote multiple products with the with articles and you know all, all that are wrong I mean, if you look inside top marketers uh they focus on one thing one action one no more than two right so that that's going to give you a lot of better results uh than if you uh, I know you when you're just starting out with internal marketing when, you, when you're trying to build this blog and affiliate sites uh, you 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 want to be this you know because I was in that mindset myself you want this one side gonna sell everything in in the earth so that they can afford so you know yeah you that is another the other failure I did I used to have multiple offers and multiple banners the thing uh, I thought like if visitors not going to take one or one uh, banner they're going to take but the thing is like if they're going to ignore one banner they're going to ignore all the banners or all the offers that is what I learned so what I thought was at the end of the blog post or any promotion I used to have my best converting squeeze page or best converting offer so if my best converting offer or banner doesn't work then the other offer or other banner doesn't uh, never going to work at all so yeah yeah, yeah. So, so so what what I found out later on as, as a progression on learning and, and failure and uh, is that yeah, once you convert just your entire website actually just focus on one product uh, actually works better or at, at least in that in that narrow narrow is better than widen it so in other Got words it. okay so um anyway so uh, and it's it's when you narrow it it's easy to rank for that narrow uh thing than you you trying to you know widen trying to rank for everything in the world so um um let's talk about um some other tips i think you already answered the question number two by now is um how how do you start converting high we, we just talk about here so let's jump to the third question which is uh do you have any other um like tips you can give it away um that to my audience as well that can kind of implement to increase a conversion for the site yeah um uh, based on my blogging uh, experience i could say that uh, many times uh, to engage with your content and make your blog as an authority blog so you have to make, make your blog look like authority in your niche or uh, keyword or uh, the category that you're operating in for that you have to have multiple forms of content okay so blogging is not just resting to text content so not just putting 300 400 word article or, or even thousand word article in one blog post and then trying to do all the, so trying to uh, hope that it will do all the conversion and all the magic it's not that so there are multiple forms of content okay so if you see all the authority blogs or authority websites in uh, out of internet marketing you have to compare yourself with uh, authority sites out of internet marketing and you have to operate them what they do and uh, uh, because they are authority sites in their niche and they do something that is already tested and tried okay so you have to have multiple forms of uh, content text only content is like the html world and it is like uh, web 3.0 right so you had uh, the visitor who is in searching of an how to topic or some text content is also going to like a uh, video content so it's also like to i mean like will be interested in searching for images related to your content so come up with multiple forms of content so for example if you are having a blog post like how to um, uh, how to set up a WordPress bar for example I'm saying if you're having a 
blog post related to this topic have a small portion of text content and incorporate uh, videos in it okay incorporate multimedia content and then also incorporate uh, screencasts or images okay so images with uh, markups like do this or uh, step by step images so whatever your text content speaks about a corresponding image for that okay so if people can't read the whole text fully uh, they are bored to read the text they have to uh, understand the same steps using the images and then have video so texts images videos and other forms of content like pdf downloads so pdf downloads it's like very less uh, very less used among bloggers right they have say text and even videos and images but convert your all those content in form of downloadable pdfs and then have a download section and user can download it okay so that way they are connected to your blog right so they it's like getting an info product or ebook totally free the pdf material so you can even uh, optimize or promote your offer or call to action inside the pdf so they are in a hurry they will download the pdf in their uh, reader or uh, the desktop and then that is another form of uh, engaging content and then for seo purpose you know uh, how to use the pdfs and other documents right you can submit to script and other document sharing sites if you don't want to give full content give a snippet of content and then optimize it so think about multiple forms of content not only text and uh, so, other forms of content yeah yeah and so i want to kind of just jump in give my quick tips here um I'm a bit, a little bit, what I call the uh, top-down approach, kind of leveraging approach. What I do is, um, since I can't write English very well, um, so I, w I will record it in an audio format, or uh, since I'm a video marketer, I will actually record in video. Uh, then I'll go out there, hire somebody, transcribe it, and then I have, then I have some article writers to rewrite the transcribe. So that's my content. So I got the video and the content convert. Then I convert that into a uh, file, submit to file sites. So that's another leverage. Got it. Then I convert that into PDF. That's another format of files, and I can give it away. Uh, there are plugins now that you can convert your entire website into a PDF file. Um, so if you are a product creator later on, you can literally just convert your entire website into an ebook and start selling it. Uh, yeah. That is your content. That's you write. You write in it, right? So yeah. and, and and third way, the fourth way that a lot of people are ignore is podcasting. Uh, there are plugins out there. Um, it's not going to be the perfect because you're not the only person that's reading it. But if you are creating a, uh, a a video or audio anyway, just just put that as a put a podcast plugin and submit to you know either iTunes or podcast directories. So that's a powerful backlink, and that's if you can build audience in there, that's just free traffic. So as a blogger, you got to think about uh, ways because, you, like you say, you spend five, six hours creating the content. You got to figure out the most efficient way. How do I take this content not just facing on the normal readers like who comes to you know Google traffic? That's all great stuff. But how do you how do you you know this work is already done? How do I leverage it even further? So you got the video, you got the audio, you got the podcast, you got the file sharing sites, and you know, and then you cannot even on social these days. So, um, so if you have all of them, you're gonna have a traffic. You're gonna have an audience. Uh, you're gonna have people who are gonna want to do some stuff on your site if you set up a conversion right. So, uh, you always work with the, um, I think, the end goal in mind. So, because all those blog and posts and all the hard time you put in, uh, you you have to know exactly where you're going. Most of the people that who just starting out, which I did and you did, is we have no goals. We just want to sell, make money. That's okay. a goal. That's a that's a dream. <laughs> yeah. and that's a dream. You gotta be focused. Okay, where, which product should I really focus on? Which product do I really believe in? Which product do I really passionate about? That you know, how I can I can say a lot of things about and give more value to the audience. Um, so um, those are the things that um, once you start focusing, you're gonna see a lot of more quick results. So, um, so that's my, my tips for this and let's talk about this product of yours that you're going to launch very quickly. Let's talk about the name of the product, time of the launch and what exactly is this uh, plugin do? Okay, uh, 
coming up to the product the product is a wp ad stopper so um, after building a bunch of uh, wordpress plugins and uh, uh, blogging softwares for social media sites so i got to know what are the pain points and uh, finding out the solution the product is wp ad stopper and uh, it is launching on uh, 27th the friday 11 edt okay and uh, it's going to be in jvzoo like a well used uh, platform and uh, it's going to be a 7 day sale okay so that means the shop uh, the cart opens on 727 friday and uh, closes on next friday mhm okay so it's on the and the 4th of so, october friday um, yeah. tell us exactly what this thing do um uh, correct and um all that stuff so uh, just kind of briefly yeah wp ad stopper right so uh, all during my blogging uh career uh, focusing on building authority size and then be trying to uh, mimic or reproduce what uh, authority size in non im niche like finance business niche uh, do so uh, i came across sites like uh, forbes business insider and all other sites like how they promote their offer to their visitors using splash pages uh, that is like visitors while entering their uh, website for some other sites you will see uh, they have a splash page or ad stop page like they will promote the offer first and then um, user can skip the offer and then they can as usual enter the site okay so this is no way uh, what intruding the visitor because they all, all have the option to skip the offer and then land into the content the thing is like showing the offer at the right moment right you have to show the offer to the visitor at the right moment uh not after for uh, you are spending a lot of time at your site and then while leaving right so the moment they come into your site they are fresh and they are more engaging and the chances are high that they take more action and they convert more uh into uh buyers so i try to reproduce uh, those authority sites and uh, this plugin uh creates uh, ad stop pages what i call or splash pages right it's completely customizable and it's completely uh, you can um, what configure it uh, in whatever pages you want to display or whatever categories you want to display and it's like fully uh, html editable you can select the color background of the splash page like what offer you want to promote uh, as i say the best converting offer you are going to find your best converting offer or squeeze page and then you can create pretty much uh, banners uh, opt in forms and other html content in the splash page right the ad stopper page okay so you can also configure like how many times the ad stopper or splash page is shown to the visitor right either once per visit or once in 24 hours once in 30 days 365 days or to the max you can even show every visit so that means like every page the user navigates across your site they will see the ad stopper page so that is to uh, if you want to kind of hard sell your store with your offer so you can even show to that extent so everything is possible in customization uh, for the ad stopper and uh, other one thing i want to clarify is like uh, the ad stopper page is like it's not intruding to your content or doesn't uh, cause any uh, uh, what uh, deviating your content getting index or seo search engines or anything because i uh, the the ad stop page is visible only for human visitors okay it is not visible to search engine bots or uh, search engine indexing so your content is not uh, having any um, effects conflicts in fact yeah all right so um for those who are listening to this if you get a little bit confused it's okay cuz uh, you're going to stay tuned and watch a little demo video you see it in action and uh I uh, once you see the demo video you're going to be all clear cuz you already seen this in authority sites that what they're doing. So um um let's talk about what exactly are they getting in the front end offer and how much it is. And is it on diamond sale and you already said this is a 7 day offer so I'm not going to repeat that. So all that good stuff. Uh the front end offer has like two options. We have the developer the developer license that comes with like you can use for all your sites and uh, the size that you can flip or if you are going to sell the size 
or uh, the size that you uh, admin for your clients the developer license right so that's going to be uh, for 1995 so you get the developer license of the plugin for 1995 and it's going to be for uh, uh, seven days sale so right now it's in a standalone page for seven days sale and then after the seven days sale is going to be uh, taken up to a uh, 37 dollars the developer license is going to be a uh, 37 dollars after seven day sale and from the front end you also get a chance to try out for a single site license okay right now for the seven day offer you get the single site license for 9.95 dollars so if you have just starting out or you have just one blog you can maybe try up with a single site of uh, license and then maybe uh, to expand it you can just reach out to the support desk and then uh, get expanded to the developer license so we also have uh, three bonus offers for the uh, uh, buyers for the uh, special offer for seven days right so we have uh, three special surprise uh, WordPress bonuses. So awesome! I'm not going to reveal the bonus office now. It's like and you can check it out. So it's almost like maybe get full plug-in for the price of one sort of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So that's okay. Yeah. Uh, just gotta find out the launching day, and uh, ooh, you get the um, developer license. So um, what is the, what is in the OTO again? Yeah, the OTO, I have teamed up with uh, um, one of my other uh, plugin creator mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to offer uh, uh, a club package or deal with uh, other three plugins combined together. Okay. 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 So, so it's, it's, going to be, it's a combination of, uh, it's a group deal um, and it's going to be $47. Okay. It's literally worth uh, $97 of plugins for uh, forty seven dollars now and it's also going to be a special sale, sale for first seven days okay can you give a uh, 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 maybe a sneak peek what yes sneak peek it will be very relevant to the front end offer for the ad stopper and it's going to be uh, very well useful for SEO and optimizing your site okay so I said okay. that uh, WP ad stopper uh, is like enforcing visitors to take action and after they land in your page uh, to engage the visitors and uh, get maximum SEO benefits instead of doing stuff yourself there's a very powerful method of optimization and automation okay uh, the what you offer awesome awesome on that note um, Jay and uh, I, I think I got every question I need to ask you here today uh, do you have any final words before we leave here today uh, that's it like if you have any uh, users if they need any help or any uh, request or anything they can reach out to me directly with the support desk URL the support desk contact information is given on the sales page and any uh, help further than uh, installing the plugin or uh, optimizing for uh, the maximum conversion they can very well reach out to us the plugin is going to be in seven uh, day special sale I'm sure it's uh, as far as I know I have not uh, come across such a plugin uh, anywhere okay. during my blogging days or even now so that's how I have to come up with my own solution so I'm sure it's going to help our WordPress bloggers in uh, getting the conversion or maximizing the uh, ROI like they don't want to worry about getting extra traffic they can convert with existing traffic yeah so before we leave here just wanna I kinda forgot to mention we forgot to mention that uh, he actually uh, did a, a quick test with his uh, brand new blog he actually get a 300% uh, a conversion, what conversion rate on his own blog uh, with this uh, uh, brand new plugin? Is that right? Yeah, correct. I use in one of my pretty much new blogs. So I have a, a bunch of new blogs I wanted to try with them before uh, uh, having it my established blog. So having banners and promoting stuff in the old school way in the sidebars, right? I used to get with with 60, 70 visitors. I used to get one or two clicks, to be honest, in the sidebars, and with WP Ad Stopper, I literally got 10 15 uh, clicks because uh, the offer is right away promoted to the visitors directly, right? No more sidebar and no more side. So it's like literally 300 percentage increase in traffic, and I'm sure with some more optimization with uh, finding the best offer, I can convert uh, well over than that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome.
awesome. So, um, unfortunately, I'm kind of running out of time here, but uh, um, for those who are watching this, make sure you are uh, watching, stay tuned, watching the demo video uh, so you can see exactly how this thing works and then most importantly, how you're going to add more conversion to your existing uh, WordPress page. So, uh, um, go take a look and uh, um, I'm very, very excited to uh, kind of, you know, try this out myself as well. And Jay, and uh, thank you again for coming on board and uh, uh, I know you're extremely busy right now, so I share some awesome, awesome conversion tips and this awesome tool with us and plug-in with us. Um, so I guess I'll be talking to you soon, Jay. Okay, sure. Thanks for the uh, time and having this and I hope uh, the visitors will be very, uh, finding the interview very helpful and uh, take action. Okay. Right. Thanks for your time. Thanks, man. Right. Bye. Thank you, Jay. Welcome to the demo for uh, WP Ad Stopper. Uh, WP Ad Stopper is a WordPress plugin that used to create uh, ad stop or uh, splash pages or uh, welcome pages to your blog like um, some of the authority sites like Forbes Business Insider use in their uh, sites so as you can see this is a demo like how Forbes use uh, splash pages or ad stop pages uh, they promote your offer before you enter the site and then they have some of the uh, skip text like continue to a site or uh, click here to proceed or something like that so their ads or offer get maximum exposure and uh, get more uh, conversion so I installed WP ad stopper in one of my demo blogs so this is called uh, the ad stopper page or splash page so as you can see here we have option to skip the ad and enter into the blog and we see uh, custom offer or HTML content right now I'm putting the squeeze page okay uh, the uh, options are completely customizable uh, like uh, you can uh, enable disable the uh, plugin feature and then you can position the uh, skip text bar this one and you can uh, customize the text content and you can even show one of your inside blog post or page ID uh, page uh, here in the canvas so instead of showing custom HTML so I right now use custom HTML for my squeeze page uh, with my uh, Aweber opt-in form and uh, the skip text background or add canvas background are completely customizable okay so some of the other options are displaying the uh, conditions like uh, displaying the plugin once per visit or once in 24 hours 365 days or something like that and you can even show um, for every visit uh, for maximum exposure right now I use every visit so for every page they navigate uh, they have to visit your offer and then skip text use the skip text to continue and uh, apart from that you can exclude uh, sites that do not want to see this offer uh, by listing in this option the domain name and uh, other thing about the uh, ad splash page is like you don't want to worry about uh, search engines indexing your content or uh, bots seeing your uh, content so this will not be visible for search engine bots and is only visible for uh, uh, human uh, visitors so it will not have any uh, impacts on Google bots or other search engine bots indexing your site and you can select the categories that you want to restrict uh, further the display of the plugin so maybe you can create one promo or custom category and then uh, use this uh, ad stop page only for that plugin so these are the some of the customization options for this plugin so some of the other uh, option is like I recently promoted uh, a JVZU product so for that I used uh, uh, the uh, promotion so these are some of the techniques like where you can uh, promote your affiliate products and you can even include your uh, buy now button uh, demo one and uh, you can uh, uh, increase the uh, urgency of your offer something like one time offer and uh, And if you are using uh, Amazon, Amazon on, uh, on products, so you can uh, promote your best converting Amazon affiliate product here, uh, and then user can continue to check on other products. So these are some of the methods. Like the plugin can be used for maximum uh, 
uh, ROI with the same amount of traffic there's no uh, need of extra traffic you can make the most out of existing traffic uh, and you uh, literally remove the ad blindness uh, and uh, convert free visitors or, or uh, people just browse your site uh, into action takers.